everybody, what is up? My name is Astrocat, and welcome back to Witch's Heart. We're going to be continuing with series of scenario today. I am so excited about it. Um, I had a couple of points that I wanted to go over. I meant to write down a lot more of my thoughts in between last episode and this one, but I uh, forgot to. But I do have a couple things that I just kind of wanted to note. So we know now that the incident that happened took place 12 years ago after Claire left the mansion. So Claire left the mansion after. Apparently, according to Sirius, I'm still wondering if Sirius may have forgotten some stuff as well. Um, but one of the things that was just like a super small detail that I don't really know what it meant is that when they were talking about the person who covered up the incident and basically accused the witch Dorothy of it, they showed a picture of a guy. And I was like, I wonder if we've seen that guy before. So I was looking and I believe that guy is wearing the same suit that Noelle's father was wearing in the one magazine picture with like, it was like stripes. I'll put a picture of it here for the comparison. Um, so I don't know if that was just it being like, oh, they covered up the incident, kind of just showed a picture of him because he was one of the victims in the incident, or if maybe he was involved in the incident altogether. So that's something I'll be keeping my eye on for sure. Patricia and Noelle, the connection is definitely getting even stronger. I still don't really know what to think of that. I'm leaning more towards at this point that Noelle and Patricia are the same person, but obviously there's the question of uh, that their names are different and supposedly their genders are different, which could mean anything. There's like a gazillion explanations for that. I really, really, really want answers on that one. When I first saw the picture before I compared the man in the suit to, to Noelle, I was actually, my first thought was I was like, ooh, what if this is like Ash's family and Ash's family was actually kind of involved and that's how they died, but uh, it wasn't. But that did lead me to have the thought of like, how exactly did Ash's family die and who exactly is Ash's family? Because I'm confident, I am like 99.9% .9 sure that at this point that his family is dead like and that is his reason for doing everything so like now i want to know who they were and why they died and why didn't ash die with them and then noel he said that killing claire is the only way killing claire is the only way to do what does he want to kill claire for a reason i hope not i believe in him but i'm wondering if he was just talking about like oh killing Claire is the only way for them to achieve what they want, but he's not actually going to do it. So I don't know. I'm excited. I want to get back into it. I probably have more thoughts that I'm forgetting, but I'll talk about them as they come up. So I'm going to actually click onto the game because apparently I am not on the game right now. There we go. All right. Oh, he's so cute. Let's see. Hi, Sirius. All right. So what are we supposed to be doing right now? I, oh, we tried to go downstairs and we couldn't. That's where we were at. Can we go ask everybody else about it? up need something yeah okay not then leave me alone yeah sure whatever okay um so now we just have to figure out how we get to um series maybe we should talk to zizel or i guess maybe we should go upstairs to lime that's probably what we should do yeah because it's not gonna let us go down because we need to go to lime's thing all right uh oh i was actually told uh this thing apparently wants wine I uh, I never would have figured that out. So, um, let's go to Willardo's room, because he has wine in here. Still think it's very mean of the game for not letting me talk to Sirius. Yes. That's it, that's it. Thanks so much. Hey! <laughs> okay. I did not realize we were on a fulfilling the wishes of the troubled demon sequence. Okay, uh, do, what do we have? I don't think we have anything that we need to uh, do the, for the thing. I know, that was very descriptive. Charlotte is not here currently. Um... Oh! Hi. Oh, you're so cute! Hey, don't run from me! Okay, it's locked. Okay. So that's probably where we need to actually go to progress, which means I don't actually want to go there now. I actually kind of figured that it would be um, the like upstairs place that we wouldn't be able to go, or, or that would be the thing. Would you like some more flowers? I have more. Yep, take the lavender. Go ahead. Yep. Ready? <laughs> awesome. What would you like this time? Rose. Yep. You can definitely have a rose. I've got lots of this. Nice. That's the demon request done. Oh, would you like another? 
Sure. How many do you want? Okay. Four that time. That was nice. Alright, let's see if we can go upstairs. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Maybe we want to go down first. Because I know we want the... I need that last mermaid scale. It's going to drive me up the wall. I love that it's just, like, stuck on serious now. Like, it's probably not going to be now the next time I open the menu because I said that. But, like, man. I love them. Oh, there was a creature in there. Okay, we're still not done. All right. Hello, friend. Come here. Okay, just a fancy before I go out. Okay. Got the mystery creature. Here you are. Rainbow crystal. All right, how many rainbow crystals do we have? Because I know we spent a lot. 21. Dang, look at us go. All right, now we should probably go to Lime, which I guess is through here. But Charlotte is here as well. Lady Charlie. What? 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 I'm getting sucked in. Oh, dear. Oh, be careful, hon. Oh, her face! What's going on here? Lime always likes to be flashy, doesn't she? Yeah. Wow! Oh, look at their outfits! Ew. Wow! Oh, cool! Oh, you're so cute! Oh my god. Where the heck is this? That's quite the effort she puts in getting us costume changes. Oh my gosh, they look so cute. Oh, that's a beautiful dress, Zell. Well, let us go. Oh, cool. Okay, I was gonna say I'm really excited about this, but I will not complain about going over to Sirius. I will never complain about going over, unless Ash comes in. I'm really scared of Ash. Ooh. Cool. Oh, of course. Get clear. We'll just have to forget about it. It's absolutely inconceivable that Noelle would try to kill Claire. Oh, medicine? Hmm. What's this? Oh, that's right. It's the Dithor. Dithor? Dithor? This is that Dithor ether that I concocted with Lady Dorothy. Come to think of it, was it not also Lady Dorothy who taught me how it was made? Hmm. Wait. Sweet smell, I feel as if I've... Oh! Is this what I smelled last night? I thought ethers used in anesthetics, so taking a large dose of it would no doubt render one unconscious. Don't tell me, did Ash intend to put me to sleep? Oh, okay, this is interesting. Thanks to my special training with Lady Dorothy, I have a resistance to medicine, so perhaps it worked poorly, thus I woke up. Still though, why take it so far? In fact, why did he have such a thing in the first place? And now that I think back, there are many other illogical points. So who's unlocking doors? Obviously my bet would be on Ash, because that's also how he got the diary. Indeed, I could have sworn I'd locked my door that night, and yet... D did he unlock it? By picking the lock, perhaps? What? Why? Why would you do that just to see some books? That's bizarre. That's very bizarre indeed. Between Ash and Noel earlier. Perhaps I don't know anything about to anyone. Stay. Oh, oh, thank God. It's Willardo. Okay. That's okay. Yo. Can you stop yelling, people? Okay. I'm really scared. My, I, I have just developed a fear of Sirius dying. 
Waiting, waiting. Lime is waiting. Um, and so I was like really, oh, okay, don't do that. Was really scared for a second that like, Gulardo was just gonna freaking murder him. Okay, well this is cool. Fun, funky, upbeat. Cool, we got some money. Here we go, down and around and up. Oh, hi. Can I talk to you? Hurry, hurry. Oh, am I supposed to be hurrying? So I'm certainly not hurrying. Okay. Oh, okay. Wasn't this cute? So, what's this for? I'm a fresh baked cupcake. Okay, why did you just set on fire? Hi, Charlotte. How's it going? I'm sure it's amazing. She spent half the day preparing this tea party. Me, I'd get bored midway for sure. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, she's got a little cat costume on, that's so cute. Welcome, Cecil and Claire. Did you bring your invitation? Well, what's all this about? Yeah, cute, huh? Hey, you know Alice in Wonderland? I was gonna say, yeah. It's this book I read the other day. I thought it was so cute, so I prepared all this stuff. Okay, Claire, you sit there across from me. Um, okay. It was so worth ordering for that one. <laughs> oh, Claire, hon. All right, so I thought today we'd have an informal gathering between us and Claire. Yay, yay. Oh, they're so cute. By the way, I'm the Cheshire Cat. Charlie's the March Hare. And Zizel's, Charlie's the March Hare, Zizel's the Mad Hatter, and Claire is Alice. I'm, I guess you could call this a girl's night out. <laughs> Let's have a girl's talk, everybody! But lewdness is forbidden. Okay, that's fine. A talk about what? Yeah, yeah, good point. As the host, I guess I gotta decide. All right, Claire, tell us about yourself. Uh -huh. I know plenty about Charlie and Zizel, but I don't know anything about you. Okay, time for Claire's Ask Me Anything. If anybody got... If anybody's got any questions for Claire, ask away. <laughs> Poor Claire. For instance, how about which one of us do you like the most? I like all of you, but Cizel. Well, I guess Cizel, since she's been helping me the most. Hi, you have good taste. Grace won't get you anything, though. Yeah, <laughs> you two get along so well, it makes me so jelly! Come to think of it, Claire. Where do you live? I built a hut in the woods near town, so I live there. You did what? She lives in a hut in the woods? No wonder her wish was... Oh, I love her. Alone. Yes, I'm by myself. Why not live in town instead of the woods? Why by yourself? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I was an abandoned child. I don't have any blood relatives. Saying yeah? Abandoned? You poor thing, that must have been so hard. Nah, it's not really like that. There was someone who took me in, even though we had no relation. Okay. Someone after? But you still live by yourself now. Why is that? The people who took me in left this world four years ago. Oh. They said I could keep the house, but it felt lonely staying there by myself. I felt awkward being alone in the busy town, so I built a hut in the woods. I felt like living among nature would make me less lonely. Oh, sweetheart. Do you want to see your parents, Claire? Um, who knows? I can't really say. I don't even remember them. Your parents abandoned you. Do you hate them? No way! I'm sure they had their reasons. I love her. Give her the world. Well, I mean, even if they didn't, I don't think I'd have a grudge. You're real soft, aren't you? 
Like, it doesn't matter either way, right? It's not like she'll ever meet them. Yeah. Unless they come for me, I'll surely never know. You don't think about why you were abandoned? Nah. I mean, I wouldn't get an answer, would I? Do you guys know? You don't want to know the truth. The truth? Um. Oh, you were. This wasn't prepared, huh? Nya, nya, nya. What? It must be Rogue. Upset about being the only one left out. Eh? Is she really the type to be bothered by stuff like that? I wanted her to join my in myself. No, perhaps she's just irritated to see us having fun without her. H how selfish is that? Really, she's like the queen of hearts. This is really the time for chatter. Let's jump out of here. Oh boy, okay. Are you taking me with you or do I have to run back all by myself? Oh, okay. Oh, that was one heck of a girl's night. I do with thrills. We can't stay here for long. Perhaps we should finish up quickly. Oh, wait up! But everyone's just so cute! How about we snap a photo for the memories? Do photos work on you? Perhaps we can allow time for that. Sounds good. Let's take a picture. Right. I'll go along with that. Okay then, Kamala. Stand by. Cool. Let's me see the picture. Now everybody get up real close. And what does moldy milk get you? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm looking up. What did that say? Oh, okay. Next time we meet, we'll probably be in hell. Cool. Good to know. So now, what do we do? Can we go see Sirius now? Oh, we can. Okay, good. Let's see if we can talk to everybody first, though. No, well. Hello, my dear. Okay. We know that Willardo was in Sirius's room. So let's see. Yeah, okay. It's locked. Oh, serious! Let's go pester him after I run a circle around here. Bam, 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 bam. All right. Serious! How's it going? Probably should have gone to the front first, but that's okay. I want to throw something! <laughs> I hate this game! This game is dumb! I don't want to play it anymore! I'm complaining to people in the Discord! I don't like it here! Oh, I'm so mad! One scenario! One scenario! I'm asking for one! One where he doesn't die! A single one! I even said, I, 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 no, I'm not gonna apologize. I'm not gonna apologize. I'm mad. I even said, I was like, oh, haha, ha, wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be funny? It was funny that I was scared that Willardo was gonna shoot him just because I'm so afraid of Sirius dying. What? Okay, well, th this seems to like it was Willardo because it's got the gunshot. So like if it was Willardo, for what purpose? Ash? I can just write Ash killing Sirius off as Ash is a freaking moron. Not really, he's very brilliant and that's part of the reason why I'm so mad at him. 
Ash, I can write off as he was willing to do anything and like kill anyone. Did, did Willardo think that he had the witch's heart? Like literally what? What could possibly be the reason? I'm gonna find a way to blame Ash for this. Not really, but oh, <laughs> oh I'm so mad. What? Don't you dare! Don't! God. Sorry, I'm like, I'm really mad. If you couldn't figure that out. Like, I wish... <clears throat> Music's good! I wish I could say that, like, I was exaggerating. I'm not. I am genuinely freaking furious right now. What the frick is it? Oh, I hate this game. I don't clearly. What is your problem? Don't you dare yo me right now. Yo. What? Oh, so you shut up, Claire. It's your second too late. Although, as I see it, couldn't ask for a better situation. I don't know what to do with all of my anger because there's nothing around me that I can break there's nothing that I can punch and yet I have too much anger to fit into my body so tell me what I'm supposed to do huh I can't just keep clicking through Too bad you'll have to die knowing nothing, but you can curse your blood. Farewell, witch spawn. <sighs> no, not really. Save other one of them being cute on the f day four. How? Why? Noel. Noel. <laughs> Oh, how is Ash gonna feel about? Is this the first, first, first lime? What do you have to do with it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh man, didn't work out, did it? Oh well, it happens. Sometimes it's a legendary treasure that grants any wish. No matter what you do, there's always going to be somebody who wants it. So. This is the first time that, like, a murder has happened. The first murder wasn't Ash, I think. Tell me, do you have... I wish you'd be willing to kill for. You look so pretty there, but I am too mad to like you right now. Welcome to hell, Claire! What if I punch you? Not you. What if I punch someone? What? Oh, literally welcome to hell. Okay. Where is this? It's hell. Apparently. Oh, cause last time we were Charlotte when we were here. <sighs> I can't even fathom anything. I'm just gonna freaking cry. Maybe I'm ugh. Okay, seems like they're saying the same things as last time. God, I'm so mad. Where's somebody I can talk to? Or punch? Or both? Hi. Yeah, I'm glad. Okay. Hi, can I talk to you without you killing me? Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. We family. Oh, great. Oh, what the frick is that? It's serious? Serious? Hi. Did not look like serious. Hi! What is this place? Good, you're alive! Uh, are you okay? Don't touch me! I 
to play this game. You're going to betray me too, aren't you? I'm sick and tired of being tricked. Me too. Indeed, I can't trust a single human. Stay away from me. Serious? Something strange about him. I need to go after him. In a heartbeat, I don't care. No. No, hit me as many times as you want. I'm not leaving. Serious, you're not getting away from me that easily. I have lost you too many times to lose you again. Hey, Serious! Shut up! Let go of me! No! I'm not letting go of you again. You can smack me as many times as you want. Get him. Serious! Oh my god, he's so pretty! Oh, look at him! Oh, that's my, that's, uh, that's my favorite image of Sirius. He looks the prettiest there. Um, this is, um... Okay. Uh... Ow! Let go, you stupid brute! And stop running, okay? Something's weird with you. What in the world happened? Weird? Me? It's all you all who are acting bizarre. <laughs> Noelle, Ash, Willardo. They're all acting absurdly. They were all nothing but evil. I was right. Humans aren't to be trusted. Acting absurdly? Why? There's no why about it. They simply are. So I know you must be evil too. You're my enemy. You're trying to trick me. What? How do you figure that? I've had enough. I'm fed up. I don't want to put my hope in anything or have it betray me. Uh, um. Uh, why? 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 Why is it always me who has to suffer all this? Oh, serious. Um, serious. Shut up. Don't talk to me! Things took a turn for the worse because you left the mansion. Everything went wrong! Even though you know nothing, even though you've seen nothing, even though you forgot everything! Excuse me? It's all your fault. You can't understand how I feel. The likes of you could never... Yeah! Listen to me! Oh. Stop, this is really good. Oh. oh, this music is so pretty. I'm telling you to just tell me because I don't get it. Didn't you say yesterday you were going to tell me everything? Now stop grumbling to yourself already. If you think something's my fault, you can just hit me with it, all right? Even if it means hurting me, then fine. On serious. Still, I do have a heart. So please be gentle. Stop shouting. My ears are ringing. You're loud enough as it is. Sorry. Well, you are a simpleton, a moron, not bright. Those all mean the same thing. How badly do you want to insult me? So even if you were evil too, it's inconceivable that I'd be fooled by you. Well, I'm not evil in the first place, and I don't intend to trick you. Truly. If you're lying, I'll make you eat a thousand needles. Whether it's a thousand or ten thousand, I'll eat them for you. You really are stupid, aren't you? Life's easier that way, right? Now, tell me only what you want to tell me. No, I put it off long enough. I'll tell you everything. About Ash, Willardo, Noel, and about Lady Dorothy. Please, please. Please, 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 please tell me I get it. Please? What is that? What does that mean? I don't know. Please, I need answers. I'm desperate. To summarize what Sirius told me. First, he apparently heard Noel talking with someone about killing me. Next, he realized Ash was in 
in possession of anesthetic, and while he was dealing with that realization, Lardo appeared in his room and shot him. And also... The truth is, I'm not the owner of this mansion. Huh? The true owner of this mansion is Dorothy Elford. El... Oh, no! No, 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 I'm so sorry. I, my finger slipped. Okay, your grandmother. What? Wait, Dorothy, like her? My grandma? What? Well, the public claims Lady Dorothy was a heinous witch and whatnot. That's far from the truth. She's a very, very kind person. She's absolutely not a killer. She was just falsely accused. Ha! 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 The real villain here is the mayor's. Is the town's mayor, Nicholas? Nicholas? Yes, the culprit of the incident twelve years ago. No, all of the incidents around Lady Dorothy. He'd do anything to further his own goals. He'd quietly kill those who got in his way and blamed it all on witches. He deceived the populace with deft words. And over time, they came to despise witches that didn't exist. Before long, Nicholas came to blame witches for droughts, earthquakes, floods, even illnesses eventually. And the people took every one of those lies as truth. Not only that, they themselves would blame any unhappiness around them on witches. I suppose it's easier to be able to blame someone else for those things. Indeed, but this was simply out of hand. Later, Nicholas began to declare those who opposed or impeded him to be witches so he could execute them. Oh my god, that's horrible. So the witch hunt began. By that time, the people were quite trusting of Nicholas, so they went along with the executions. They went along with killing people? It truly was bizarre. When someone went up to be executed, there were feverish cheers. He executed my father and mother, too. Oh, so that's how you came to live with Dorothy. Or, I guess, part of the reason. Yep. Yeah. After I was left without a family, it was Lady Dorothy who took me in. She had lost someone to the witch hunts. Her daughter. Oh. Her daughter, of course, being your mother. I see. So my mother's... She didn't abandon you. After that, Lady Dorothy took care of you. And the three of us began to live together. Mm. Yet soon, for some reason, Nicholas put his eye on Lady Dorothy. What? Why? I don't know. It's not as if we had any real intention of bringing harm to him. And most unluckily... Nicholas decided to call Lady Dorothy the leader of the witches. Of course, the people believed it. They called for Lady Dorothy's execution. After that, it was a nightmare. Nicholas and his lackey stormed the mansion. They shot Lady Dorothy full of holes. I thought I'd be shot too. Yet at that moment, that monster appeared. I don't quite remember anything past that. When I came to, everyone else was dead. It's the truth about the incident 12 years ago. I suppose Miss Dorothy must also be dead then. Uh, well, I'm not actually sure. Indeed, it certainly looks as if she had to be dead then. She looked dead? Before Lady Dorothy died, she told me, I'll come back. But, well... After it was all over, as I sat there dumbfounded, that monstrous mash of flesh appeared, ate Lady Dorothy's body and nothing else, and disappeared somewhere. Interesting, okay. I've been looking for it ever since, so I can defeat it and bring Lady Dorothy back. So we can live together again just like we used to. I love him so much. I don't even think I can, like, describe it to you guys, and I know you guys have gotten that sense. I- I literally, like, um, uh, uh, <sighs> I can't believe it. 
Why did I forget all of this when it's so important? There's a reason. It has to be. <laughs> Noelle! <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Noelle's gonna figure out all this and it's gonna be really bad. Maybe. I. Shoot. I can't go down to the first floor. Where in the world is Claire? Is she safe right now? No. You looked everywhere on the second floor. Yes, I have, and she was nowhere to be found. Of course, I also checked the attic. So she must be on the first floor. As you can see, I can't go down. Can't you do something? Who would have done this? Sell Charlotte Lime? I'm... It's what you're doing. Why do you always get in my way? Yeah, <laughs> Some fun stuff is going on, so the steers are out of order. Thanks! I'm begging you. Let me through. There's not much time until dawn. You're so cute, but I'm really mad. I don't wanna. Just stick a finger in your mouth and watch the sunrise like you always do. That's what you do best. <laughs> Shut up. Oh well, hon, I'm so sorry. The situation's already beyond repair, you know. It's over, over, all over. Too bad, so sad. So come on, give up already. Just let everyone be unhappy. Just like me. Were those burn marks? I wonder. Oh, it's daytime now. Um, but he's dead. So. What? Okay. Well, then we'll go to escape from here quickly. Okay, we can do that. Hi, Zazel. Okay. Huh. Oh, wait. Why can you see Zazel? That's weird. Where did Claire go? What's this? Okay. Not something we can look at. We already talked to these ones. Okay. Exit. Okay. Okay, that room is locked. What's gonna happen? What in the world? Is this an exit? Huh? Just sitting here? It's kind of unnatural. Kind of? What's happening? Oh, great goodness. Gah! Now what is it? It's one thing after another. A candy house. Don't tell me. Okay. Yo ho. Welcome to the time wasting space. Names that follow you can't open the save menu. Pressing escape will let you restart for. Instead pressing escape will let you restart from a checkpoint. What's a checkpoint? That's for you to find out. Yes, come see me soon. Lime. Okay. Um, interesting. Gah! What's this heavy thing? It's in my way! Huh? Can I try for a second? Heave! You got it, Claire. What? It moved really easily! Yeah. Oops. Wait. Shoot. Okay. Here. Here. Okay. Cool. Boom. Alright. There we go. That's fairly simple. I guess. Wait. Isn't this just the same one? Oh, shoot. Darn. Okay. So we gotta restart. Okay. Cool. Then we can go here, here, here. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. We got it. Oh. Okay. Lime brand vending machine. What you buying? Nothing. Open the menu now. I don't want to open yet. Lady Lime is getting it ready. Have some cake while you eat. Okay. Are you serious? Okay. Um, I don't know. Guess we'll save here. Would you like some cake, serious? Can we try to go through? Okay, I guess we can. We're getting ready. Hold on until I'm done. Lime. Okay. What is the meaning of this? It'll be a little longer, I guess. How utterly foolish. But I was thinking about taking a rest, so I may as well. Right. I'm in agreement. <laughs> HP is fully recovered. Why? That's scary. Okay, can I talk to Sirius? By the way, I neglected to ask before. Claire, do you remember anything about Patricia? <sighs> Please. Huh? Patricia? Uh, I feel like I've heard that name. Ah, oh, that's right. I think she was... I feel like I met her in a dream. That's the feeling the name gives me. Um, <laughs> In a dream? Well, then I suppose you forgot it all. But only she remains in the corners of your memory. <laughs> so, about that, Patricia. Back when the two of us still lived with Lady Dorothy. Patricia was our guest you brought over to this mansion. While playing outside, you said you found Patricia crying all alone and just couldn't ignore it. After that, her... Oh! Okay! He became very fond of you, and you ended up always being together. Hmm? He? As it turns out, Noelle was... Yes! <gasps> Sorry. Sorry. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm too excited about this. Okay. Sorry. So why? Why'd he go by a different name? As it turns out, Noel was Patricia. What? Surprising, I know. I had not a clue about this until I heard it from his mouth the other day. I'm afraid I don't know any particulars beyond that, though. I see. One day, something happened. During a game of hide and seek, you wrote me into Patricia disappeared. I was it at the time, so I didn't know what happened. You were bawling and wouldn't talk. I... is that so? And right after that, deciding to go after Patricia, you vanished too. So this is when they went into the room. Into... into Granny's room. Then three days ago, you returned at last. You'd forgotten everything, and Patricia was Noelle. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, I can imagine. I honestly don't remember anything from back then, but I'm terribly sorry. Well, <clears throat> that said... I told you before Noel was talking with someone about killing you, yes? Yes? He may have said that for how closely he always stuck to you. It's hard to believe he would do such a thing. Now that I think back on it, he did sound rather opposed to the idea. He did? Of course he did. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Incoming message from Lime. The room ahead is now open, so come in and make it quick. I'm waiting for ya. I don't know who this idiot is, but she's rather bossy, isn't she? All right, Claire, let's go. Okay. We got this. Whatever it is. But Noelle is Patricia! Sorry. That just makes the dynamic between Noelle and Claire, like, extremely cute. What the heck is that? It's supposed faintly oranges. What is this? Oh, no! Oh, I didn't read it again. Oh, how pretty! Okay, wait, can I see it again? What is this? A giant piece of candy? Okay. Cool. Alright, let's go. Huh? An earthquake? That was a pretty big one. Yeah, it's gonna roll. It's gonna roll. It's gonna roll. What? Huh, now you're going to be attacked by Miss Candy Ball here. Right, so you know, run as fast as you can! Alright. Oh! Eh! oh god, it's- whoa, I fell! Okay, 
Okay, it's shaking, it's shaking. I don't like the shaking. If I get far enough away, it won't shake anymore. These places with dark grass are like safe zones. In other words, you'll be okay in here. You can also temporarily open the menu to replenish HP if you want. Lady Lime's certainly so benevolent to give you these. Okay. Whoa, well, okay. Okay. Ah, shoot. Okay. Calm down, just make sure we're on the path and we'll be good. No! Shoot! I ran too far. Okay. No! Okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just stay on the path. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. Ah! It's a dead end! D do something, Claire! You see, I'm sure it's strength somehow. Huh? What are you asking a poor little mean like me to do? You should do a manly punch or something. Guys, quit it with your gender roles. Come on, time to look cool. What nonsense are you spouting? I'm clearly the weaker of us, Claire. It's plain as day. Wow, you just said it. The strong protect the weak. Those are the rules of nature. Lame. At least clinch it out. Clinch it out this one time. Ah, jeez, whatever. Ha! Okay. Thanks, Claire. Huh. Yeah. Um, don't give me that look. I'm not sure how to react either. <laughs> Claire, you are just the best. Oh, it was so worth making this place. Okay. Hello. Time for the star to make her lovely, fashionably laid entrance. Wow, you gave me a good laugh. Very good, very good. Who are you? And where in the world is this? Oh, this is his first time meeting one. Wait, Sirius, you can see Lime? Yep, yep. Here even Sirius can see me plain as day, it seems. Alrighty, let's do a proper introduction. My name is Lime. And this is the real deal final room. I'm really charged up right now. A certain somebody set me off, see? <laughs> I never wanted to make someone unhappy more in my life. Music's good, but what's happening? The more I see them struggle, the more I want to see them fall. Who? No matter how hard somebody like that tries, their efforts always come up to nothing. They're sure to fall down into the same place as me. Just think about that moment. Oh, it gives me chills. Um. For them, I bet you getting hurt is much more painful than getting hurt themselves. Is this Noel? Is this is about Noel? I that breaks my heart. Oh my god. Oh. Just so you know, that wild strength you're proud of won't work on me. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. This world's about to end soon anyway, but you came all this way, so now I'm gonna tear you to pieces. You'll suffer what I've suffered. Go, serious. <laughs> it worked. What? Don't tell me that Amil just want to do at these. Oh, that's a really cute sprite. Did that woman teach you how to make them? Way cruder than hers, though. Th th that's right. <laughs> well, all right. This is pretty interesting. The Alfreds really are masters at entertaining me, aren't they? <laughs> Take that, you rotten residue of that damn hag, Dorothy! You, you insult the name of Lady Dorothy? Uh-oh. Sit tight there, will you, witch spawn? Now just try and take this young lady out of the galaxy of misfortune she was born into. Sirius, run away! Come on, Sirius. <laughs> 
You can run if you want. If you wish, I can put you, but only you, back where you were. Come on, Sirius. I... I... Gah! This situation! Even if I have my amulets, how could I stand a chance where Claire couldn't... Truly, why does this always happen to me? You can run if you want. Of course I'd want to run here. She's bad news, no doubt about it. Indeed, I'll run away. Yes, yes, that's what I've always done, isn't it? Lady Dorothy shall forgive me, I know it. Oh. Oh. I'm not serious. God bless. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is my favorite scenario ever. This is hands down. I love Willardos. I love Ashes. Hands down my favorite. This is so good. Claire, what would you do? <laughs> Take that, you rotten residue with that damn hag, Dorothy. If someone precious to you had disparaged, and you had to suffer like this, I'm sure you would. Come on. I am Lady Dorothy's number one disciple, Sirius Gibson! I'm scared. Honestly, my legs are shaking. But even I have my pride. Hmm. Maybe this isn't bravery or anything. Maybe it's merely stupidity. But I absolutely refuse to just admit defeat like this. Please, Lady Dorothy, lend me your strength! Who are you calling residue? Once I show you what I'm made of, you'll be the one suffering! Oh, this is so good! Oh, so you're gonna fight back? Funny for the guy who wrote the book on running away. Yes, that's right! I love his bow. Oh, he's been blushing this whole time. I love him so much. I'm going to do it! I'm going to! I'll strike you down and make you apologize to Lady Dorothy. Oh, how fiery! Go! Alright then. Maybe these burning flames of mine can carry you up to heaven. Now, bring it on! Oh boy. Okay. 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 Oh my god, the music's epic. Okay. Okay. What the heck is that? Can I hit her? No. Okay. So right now it's just a lot of- Ow! Dodging! Okay, I want that? Ow! Okay, wait, I have literally no idea what I'm doing. Okay, well, wherever this thing goes seems to be safe. But I don't think this is working. Let's die and see what happens. Okay, it's just a game over. Okay. So am I supposed to... Oh, shoot. Okay. Hit this? Oh, okay. Okay. I see. Nope. There's fire there. Okay. 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 Whoa. Okay. Okay. Got it, 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 got it. Okay. Cool. We did it? Hypothetically? Maybe? It seems I've done it.
How long are you going to sleep? Being nosy and tough is your forte, yes? You're running- you're ruining your image! So would you get up already? Ow. Can't you make it a little easier to thank you? Really? But really, thank you for saving me. It's not as if it was for you. It was for myself and Lady Dorothy. <laughs> it was kind of cool. Huh? You really can do it if you try. I've changed my mind about you. What? From what perspective? Damn it, you're so irritating. I've hardly changed in that respect. Well, even if I lost my memories, I'm still me, see? I don't change at my roots. That you don't, I agree. No different at all, in a bad sense. Yeesh. Even now, you can't stop being mean. Well, of course. How much do you think I've gone through thanks to you? Huh? It wasn't for Miss Dorothy, then? Quiet! <laughs> I put forth the effort for Lady Dorothy, but it's you I'm irritated with. You sure can be ridiculous. I wish you'd be more honest. What? Nothing! It's nothing! I love them. Oh, my darlings. Oh. The end, the end. This is the end. They've come. It's finally over. Well, this was fun for a time waster. <laughs> you intend to keep going? No way! I don't have the energy to go into overtime. Not when they finally come. Who are you talking about? Here's a parting gift for you. The one who locked you in this mansion. I'll tell you who it really is. If you want to leave, that's who you have to negotiate with. Not that I expect you'll be heard. Is it going to be the monster? The, like, big demon? <laughs> A final prank from me to you! It is, isn't it? What is this? A storeroom of monsters? Are we to meet our end being fed to them? No, serious. They're just staring at us. I don't think they're gonna attack. You're right. Well, but I suppose you'll beat them up if they should attack at any rate. Hold on again? Truly, though, is that fiend who locked us in here to be a... Er, is that fiend who locked us in to be found in here somewhere? What was that girl getting at? Hmm, I wonder. Wait, but... I feel like I know this place. Yeah, this was the entrance. Walking slow, walking slow. This is what Claire first saw when she walked in. Hello? Yeah, so I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if, potentially, Ash is partially right and maybe this is Lady Dorothy and that it's locking us in here for our own good, question mark? Or there's some other curse that's interfering. The that's... I see, so this thing locked us in the mansion. That's what it was? You... You did all of this? When will you be satisfied tormenting me? You freakish monster! Ever since that day 12 years ago, I've been looking for you. I loathed you all the while. I hated you to death. Cause... Cause of it all, let us out of here and return Lady Dorothy! What? Ugh. Why are you crying? Huh? I'm the one who wants to cry. Don't mess around with me. Give her back. Give Lady Dorothy back. Let us out of here. Oh. If you won't, then with this amulet, I'll... Oh my god, this music is so good. Oh, 
he's so pretty! <sighs> it... it took the amulet on its own? Sorry. That's what that fleshy mess seems to be saying. Honestly, it's all so comical. That is, it's gotta be. And that's what she turned into some form of protection for them. Hi, Ash! Oh, and there's Willardo. Sight. Oh. Yeah, shocking, huh? You couldn't get to them first? Miss Claire! Serious? Willardo? Huh? Uh, dead. It's a curse which is mentioned. Just as it was 12 years ago, all mysteries vanished to the abyss. I don't think this is Ash, I'm just... Those with the witch involved with the witch can never become happy. I've included all will only know sorrow. I'm feeling a lot of emotions right now, to be honest. Um, I don't know which ones. Claire Elfer died in the blue room on the night of day three, cause of death shot by Willardo. I'm excited for the after credits of this one. Ash Bradley. Alive the morning of day four, it all it ends with his goal still unachieved. Yeah. Ooh, that look! Oh my god! Bilardo Adler. The culprit of the story murders Claire and obtains the witch's heart. Look who's been the culprit twice now. Sirius Gibson. Died in the blue room on the night of day three. Cause of death shot by Willardo. Well, Levine. Dragged into the earth the morning of day four? Whereabouts unknown? What does that mean? Can we stop dragging Noelle places? That would be great. Oh, that ending, the, the ending graphics, I feel like I'm not appreciating that enough, and I feel like I need to communicate to you guys just how freaking beautiful that was. Like, that was stunning, and I don't think I can articulate the emotions that gave me um, in a accurate manner, because oh my god. Oh my god. Favorite scenario, hands down. 10 out of 10. Amazing. Best game. I don't know why more people haven't played this game. Oh, wow. That's a scary graphic. Are we gonna get to see a cute image of Sirius at the end? Please, 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 please. For the demons, this is the perfect conclusion. Dear Lord, why is it the perfect conclusion? Because there's nothing that gives them greater joy than the sorrow of others. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. All the more so when it is humans who inflict upon it upon each other. Well, Ardo got what he wanted? Now to ask one last time. <sighs> Do you have a wish you'd be willing to kill for? It's funny. Not it's not funny, but it's kind of funny that Willard is the culprit in the story when he felt so irrelevant. A demonic pact was made at the end of a long journey. Perhaps this wish will finally come true. Claire Elford, with her death, the curtains close on this story. Again.
What's gonna happen now? It's nighttime. Are we gonna get Noel, or is it just gonna be Ash? Like, what? What? Is anyone alive to have an after credit scene? Okay, Ash is. What? Who would do this? No, what's this? Yikes. There's a large hole in glass chest wide enough that you could see inside. Why would- Why would you do all that if you were merely killing someone? It's, yeah. Oh, so he doesn't know at this point that Claire is the witch, sorry. And next to her. These are Willardus clothes, right? <laughs> They're covered in ash! What is this? Suppose I should let Noelle know about this. Is Noelle even gonna be here? Oh, it's been a hot minute since we've played as you, Ash. So, last we know, Noelle was trying desperately to get to the... Um, to the first floor. He's not here. Not here. He's not. So we're gonna try the front door then. Yeah, it's open. Oh my, it's open. Just as quickly as that, everything was over. Who was it that killed those three? Noel, who had vanished. Supposing it was him, the door's already open. This is not his room. He must have long since left. Well, whatever the truth, it doesn't mean a thing to me now. Goodbye, Witch's Mansion. It was a rather fun time. Was it? <sighs> Hi! <gasps> Noel! Serious. Oh, baby! Oh! God, this episode is like my favorite images ever! Why? Why? Why did you come to this place? Oh, sweetheart, you deserve the world. so good oh he continued god that was so good uh -huh, look at him oh amazing final results star points 129 oh he's so cute oh my god and lime looks great there 12 okay cool purple shard Nice. Are we gonna get a flashback now? Like 12 years ago, everything ended. Mm. If you show me a shot of baby Siri. I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't take this. Lady, 
Dorothy was dead, covered in blood. Massacre by witch, 26 found dead. June 16th. Witch orchestrated a mass murder at the mansion in the Ribeca Mountains. The culprit was Dorothy Alfred, the victims to the mayor of Ribeca, as well as the 25 listed below. Nearly all the bodies were mutilated to such an extent as to be unrecognizable. Some were torn to pieces or had their organs gouged out. Given the scale and the inhumanity of the act, the whispers in the air only that a witch or demon could have done such a thing. And it seemed to have gained considerable attention in town. So that this place came to be known as a witch's mansion. place, right? The witch's mansion? You serious about this? The witch might kill you, man. They say there's treasure here, too. We've come this far. Let's go. It's not gonna go well for them. Huh? Power outage? Look at that! That wasn't there before. Witch, I'll kill you. I'm a witch, I'll kill you. What the? Was this serious? Eeh! Let's get out of here. I don't want any trouble. Yeah, we'd be up against that heinous witch life's more important than treasure. Or was it something else? Yeah. <laughs> we vote for such cheap tricks. There's the slightest threat, and they turn tail and run. But I suppose that's best anyway. This is the house Lady Dorothy will return to. I need to protect it. Told you I didn't want to come here. This was a bad idea. I said sorry. Don't come that cheap. Too bad for you. Well, I guess I'll give you a different reward instead, Claire. What are you gonna give me? Magic broom? Magic broom is an equipable item only for Claire. Okay. Oh, cool! You can fl freely fly around anywhere. However, note that this item can only be used in fantasy spaces. Cool. So will that help us get up high too? Flying on the sky in the sky in a broom, how romantic! Who thought that one up? Eh? I hope magic broom comes in handy to advance the story. All right then. See you later. All right. Only missing Noelle's now. Let's go see if we got any new portraits. I'm begging, please. I want Sirius's portrait so badly. <gasps> there it is! Please tell me when his birthday is. Please, please, please tell me when his birthday is. Please tell me when his birthday is. Please tell me when his birthday is. June 13th. Okay, but oh, that's like right before June 16th. Age 22. He's younger than Claire. He's the baby of the group. He's the baby of the group. He, so he doesn't like wine. He's good at guessing ages. He's the baby of the group? 25 death, birthday around May 4th, okay. What's this? 
fate of an unfortunate girl. Uh, not right now. We will do that next time. Okay, well, oh, I have a lot of things to think about, a lot of things to do. Um, but I've been recording for an hour and 40 minutes. This episode's gonna be long. Bear with me, y'all. Uh, I appreciate you for sticking with me and watching this all the way to the end. It means the world to me. My favorite scenario, hands down, and people will tell me that the one with Noelle- Sorry, what is this paper on the wall? I didn't want haters. Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. Um, people just keep telling me that they get better. Um, uh, so... I'm really excited for Noelle's. I got so much pretty serious art in this, so I am thrilled about that. Um, this was really good. I'm so excited to finally learn more about Noelle. I'm excited to finally have the confirmation that he is Patricia. I'm super excited about that. Obviously, you have to question, you know, exactly why he went as Patricia. We'll have to- I'll wait for the game to answer some of those questions itself, I guess. Favorite scenario? I'm gonna go cry for like three hours now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This game has been beyond incredible. I have enjoyed every single second of it so much. If you want to talk to me about this game or any of the other games I play, please feel free to join the Discord link in the description of this video or on the about page of my channel. I would love to get to know you, get to talk with you there. And without further ado, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye!